In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to record real-time MIDI in both Studio One 2.6 Producer and Notion 4 simultaneously. I'm running Studio One 2.6 Producer in a Rewire 2 session where it is the host controller. Notion 4 is Rewire 2 Slave and also have Reason 7 running as a rewire to slave where uh, it's going to play a song from the techno squirrels called faster which was a demo song that came with reason six the key to this technique is to insert about 10 empty measures at the start of the notion for score also at the start of the Studio One 2.6 producer project and the Reason 7 project. And this is important because in Notion 4, when you click on this record real time MIDI button and the panel comes up and then you click on start recording, Notion 4 immediately is going to start recording uh, whatever's coming in from the MIDI input device. Studio One 2.6 producer, however, is going to be in play mode which is okay because everything's synchronized because that's one thing that uh, Rewire 2 does. It keeps everything synchronized. But since you want to record in Studio One 2.6 Producer, you're going to want to switch to Studio One 2.6 Producer and punch in, which you'll do by clicking on its record button. At that point, you'll be recording from both Notion 4 and Studio One 2.6 Producer, and the MIDI input will go to both of them. So, uh, let's get started. And it's uh, useful to note that you want to click on the track or the staff in Notion 4 to which you want to record the incoming MIDI. Because the one that's selected at the time you press the Start Recording button is the one that's going to record the MIDI. The MIDI coming in will appear initially in piano roll format, but as soon as the recording stops, it will convert automatically to music notation. Now, Notion 4 is recording, and so what we want to do right now is we want to go up here and we want to enable the recording for Studio One, and we should be going here. That's about all we got to do there. I'll just uh, stop it up here. And then we'll uh, scroll down here and get this lined up again. Click on the MIDI track that we just recorded in Studio One 2.6 Producer. And we'll pull up the 
edit menu so we can watch that. And I'm going to wind it up to about 10 or so. And then um, down here in the Notion, um, yeah, this is the input that the MIDI input, it's already been converted to music notation. And so that's great. Uh, sometimes um, you have to click uh, play maybe like twice, but kind of depends because uh, the first time you, when, when you're switching from one application to another one, the first time you click on it, it it's just going to put focus on the application. And so you, you really have to click twice first to get focus and then, then to actually click on the button. But whatever. And so here we go. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so that's all there is to it, and it's uh, fabulous.